This video is for problems 20 and 21 from the worksheet H1-1 homework. The directions state, evaluate each expression for the given values of the variables. So this is very similar to some of the problems earlier in this worksheet. This, one's, this one just has a little bit more uh, grouping symbols in them. So let's go ahead here and get started. Number 20, we have three times the quantity of R squared minus S squared plus five times the quantity of r minus s, and that quantity is being squared, over the quantity of r plus s squared. First things first, let's go ahead here and let's substitute in our seven for our r's and a three for our s's. Let's just take the time to write it out. So we've got three, and then we've got here, this would be like saying a seven squared minus a 3 squared inside this parentheses plus 5 times in parentheses 3 I'm sorry I wrote that wrong that should be a 7 so make sure you put the right number in for the right variable 7 minus 3 and then that is being squared and that is all over in parentheses 7 plus 3 and then that is squared. So it looks like we've got three major sets of grouping symbols between the numerator and the denominator. Remember that fraction that fraction bar is a grouping symbol too. But let's start on the top. We'll start inside this set of parentheses. So we've got a seven squared minus a three squared. So we've got here seven squared is 49. Three squared is nine. So we have 49 minus nine inside of there plus five times the quantity of seven minus three is four. And that right now is over seven plus three would be 10. So we have 10 squared on the bottom. And our 49 minus nine, we know right now, this right here is really just 40. Okay, so this 49 minus nine is really just 40. Just to save time, I know you don't wanna spend all day on math. So we have three times 40, plus five times four to the second power. So let's take it here. We've got three times 40 plus five. We'll just go ahead and take care of our exponents. Four squared is 16. And on the bottom, we have 10 squared, which is 100. So three times 40 is 120. Five times 16 should be 80. And then we're dividing by 100, so 120 plus 80 is 200, divided by 100 should give us 2. So that big jumbly mess that we had to start with there simplifies all the way down to 2. And 21, we're going to do the same thing. Let's go ahead here and substitute in the 3 for G and the 4 for the H. So I've got inside those parentheses, I've got a three squared plus a four squared. And we're multiplying that times another set here. We're gonna have a three squared minus four, and then we'll square on the outside there. On the bottom, we'll have an H minus G. So that's gonna be a four minus three and then we're going to square that and then we're going to say a four squared minus two times three times four plus a three squared inside that last set of parentheses there so let's take our time here and simplify everything down starting in this first set of parentheses here where we've got three squared plus four squared well we know that this is really nine, and this is really 16. So we have a nine plus 16, which should give us a 25. So we have 25 times over in this side here, three squared, actually, let me just kind of color code it so you can follow along. All right, so we've got three squared is nine, and then we have minus four, which should be a five. And remember, that's all gonna be squared there. So five squared should also give us 25 and then underneath here 
our four minus three, right, is gonna be squared. So four minus three is one and one squared is one. And over here in our last set, I'll just make these ones yellow also. We've got, it looks like four squared is 16. We've got three squared in the back, which is nine. And then we've got two times three times four. Well, four times three is 12 times two is 24. So we have 16 minus 24 plus nine. 16 minus 24 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 9 is going to give us a 1. So on the bottom, we end up with just 1 times 1. On the top, it's 25 times 25. So 25 times 25 is going to be 625. And that is over 1, but really, we don't need to write that. So final answer, 625. All right, if you finish the assignment, great job. Your first one for Honors Algebra 2. Um, if you have any kinds of questions at all, especially those of you that are working at home, please, please, please reach out to me. Don't let things go because when you do, it builds. Math builds on itself there and, you know, the successes build, but sometimes the frustrations do too. So I'm here to help however I can. Thanks for watching.